sweet Moses. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Space Dragon still on the rise. He has this new final. He has a second form where he swipes at you. He turns all orange glowy and he tries to slap you. Alright, come on now. I'm about to use Exodia this son of a bitch, I'll tell you what. Oh! Vulnerability detected! Aha! Nice try. But I'm a cat I'm a sky captain. No, we ain't having any of that. Any of that on the fence. Slam myself into his eye? What kind of boss move is that? What kind of killer move is that? How do you like that? Oh my goodness. Get the other one. Get the other one. Oh. Did he slap me? I didn't see anything. I guess he did. He's a slapper, that guy. What can I say? He's a slapper. He gets in there and he gives you a good whack and right into the back. Right into the back. Wacky to back into the wacky back. Oh! He's shimmy shamming. Did I just throw all over to already get his first eye? Surrender your love to me! Fight for the sky dragon! Challenge me and my sky captain ways. Woo! Kiss your mother with those flaming balls of death. <laughs> Train, boy. Train. It's on the moon. I can see that. All right, second form. Red leather, yellow. Stop practicing your theater voice and fight me! Woo! You like that dodge? Huh? We've seen a lot more of it. Ooh. But I fight you upside down. Tell your friends you got you got uppercutted by a little dwarf man. Ha! Try. Let me look at those peepers. Your jeepers, creepers, peepers. Yeah. All right. Matrix dodge, of course. <laughs> and then Falcon punch. Foolish fool. Space dodge! Ah, Sky Captain rule! Ah, do a barrel roll! There you go! Whoa! Whoa! Boy! Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! Whoa! Calm down, Bessie! Calm down! Yeah, looks like we're going for a dragon ride, I tell you what. Rip tear, rip tear. Uh oh, he went to slammer jammer mode. Prepare yourselves. Prepare for battle. Ah! Apparently, you can tap Y real fast. Oh, what is he trying? Is he doing Omni Slash back there? What the hell is all that grunting? Woo! I feel like 
that one. How do you like that one, buddy? Loser! Oh, yeah. Now we're riding. Now we're dragon riding right here. I'll try spinning. That's a neat trick. Uh oh. I don't like what's happening here. My pack! <laughs> Cinematic kill! The dragon is down. Or the dragon is down. The clown is down. My dragon's down. This desk is broken. Stop! Others are coming! It's not time yet. <clears throat> well, look out! Baba! Uh, really? I'm just gonna throw a knife into the back of my bestie. Oh, I'm mad. Oh, I see. Slave! You are charged to serve! It is all you have ever been! Oh! It's just as the Imperator said. Only the key can pass. Lisa going home? Here. It's the Divide. Set me down. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna make it. Well, please. Sit on the other side. Do you know what the Imperator told me? She said it was you. You I came to save all along. There's only one way to close this. I'm not gonna make it back. Ava, Ava, I can't. Please, concentrate. Here with me now. There isn't much time. I love you. Panic. Come on, dude. You could have done better. What she had to do. There's nothing you could have done. Come. There's work to be done. Now I can see where all the collectibles are. Well, that was surprisingly fun. And also, I'm a little surprised that the game was actually a bit shorter than I thought it would be. I honestly thought it'd probably be like at least a third longer than it was. 
but it is an older game. And I never played it before, and that was that was kind of interesting. I read the description of it, you know, they said, I was like, oh man, imagine <laughs> Nathan Drake, but it's Gears of War, and he has a jetpack, and I was like, really? Alright, that's just... <laughs> that's different, and I loved... I love the flying portions, and I love the idea that they, they incorporated that looking over the side and the wall, your your floor and your ceiling is your cover. Sort of like changing perspective of the old cover taking system, because now you have like this uh, this gravity direction that would not normally be part of like combat that makes throwing grenades weird. Although, like, I also wish there was a little bit more variety in the weapons. I did like the uh, whole up upgrading system. And improving your weapons and making them more powerful. But as you saw, like, I feel like the game could have been longer. There should have been enough. I feel like they should have given just a little bit more opportunities for upgrading and getting enough points to where at least a couple of your things would have been maxed out at the end. Because they said climb the tower, and I was like, alright, that's gonna be a whole series of levels all on its own, isn't it? To where it's me going through this long labyrinth tower, going up it to reach the top. And I assumed that maybe that dragon thing could have been like at the end of the tower guarding the top. But ah, you're just automatically there. You just fly there. Which I guess makes sense. Like Gandalf told the people, fly you fools, you know? Instead of walking. But from the video game aspect, as a person who's trying to enjoy something, be told a story. Please, kind of want to be. Cooper didn't make it. He didn't. What's happening? Oh, it's a remix song. <laughs> I was like, is there like hidden dialogue? No, it's a weird, weird Dark Void <laughs> retro song. Oh wait, why are they playing this like that? Is there an older game called Dark Void or something? And this was based off of that? I don't know, I didn't do a lot of research. I'll look into it. I think there's also a sequel, because like when I was, uh, when I was posting and it was like, which game is this? And I type in Dark Void. There's this other one called, like, Dark Void Reborn. It came out years later. I haven't looked it up yet. So maybe we'll go and do that. We'll go see what that game is about. I wonder if it actually is has something to do with this one. But, yeah, that was great. I really enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> honestly, from a game that I've never played before, I would, uh, 7, 8, 7.5, something like that, out of 10. Because that was actually surprisingly fun. I saw this and I was like, what is this weird game? This narrative that they're trying to tell me with the jetpack. The Sky Captain of Tomorrow nonsense. And then I played it and I was like, this is actually kind of fun. Once I got the explosive rounds with the basic rifle, that pretty much became my bread and butter. And then, um, uh... Then there was the concussive rifle that the aliens had that I felt like could have been better. I don't know, I didn't upgrade it all the way, so I don't know. The... Gravity gun was pretty funny, I liked that, and then the lightning, the Tesla gun was pretty powerful. Kind of substituted the, the sniper rifle if you weren't killing the sniper. And then the jetpack, I didn't get the final upgrade, I got the second upgrade where he made the guns more powerful. I wish it changed the way they sound and look. They looked at, they looked and sound, sounded exactly the same after that upgrade. When it said that he upgraded to the 30 caliber machine guns instead of the 7.62 machine guns. I wish that they did something like make them sound like a deeper bassy sound at least, or may maybe made the tracer rounds look bigger. But um, uh, yeah, I liked the upgrade because then you were doing serious damage. But, oh, all in all, fun game. Highly recommend it if you got it for free and it's just sitting in your bad pocket, as you saw. Not a bad playthrough. The one the one big complaint I have about it is that I had to see feel like it should have been just a little bit longer. I was having fun. I felt like I was there was still more to do. And they told me there was a tower, I got excited. They said, climb the tower. They didn't say fly to the top of the tower, they said climb the tower. And I was like, alright, we gotta climb this tower, guys. We gotta go up there. We gotta go talk to these lizard people. Also, you never really got to fight the lizard people. You fought, like, their snakeling underlings. But the dudes who transformed, that would have been an interesting fight to have. Like, if they had snuck into, like, behind in your with your allies, and all of a sudden some of your allies, like, just started shooting your buddies, and you had to, like, figure out, I don't know, using your adept That's senses or something. Game. Something like that. Use your adept senses to detect where they are so you can fight them. I think that would have been a cool add-on as well. But yeah. That was Dark Void. So, thank you all. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.